tempers are running high on the border of Guinea and Sierra Leone. Stranded since the weekend, passengers are complaining about a lack of food, some arguing with border security. The crossing was closed in a bid to stop the spread of the deadly Ebola virus, but not everyone's happy about it. We have spent four days here. We have suffered a lot since we tried to cross. There is no food. We have asked them to allow us to enter as Ghanaians, but they refuse. I just came from the Guinean side. I went to buy some things at the market and they refused to let me enter. I told them I'm working here. A lot of people are stranded. Guinea's Minister of Health instructed the military to close the border on Friday as a preventive measure. Guinea is believed to have been the source of the outbreak that swept through three West African countries, killing over 1,000 people. The battle against Ebola, though, is also one of hearts and minds. Volunteers from the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies are now working to reduce the stigma faced by Ebola patients and health workers in the region. There will be no acceptance if stigmatization increases. That is why we must work on two points, more respect and more protection for the infected and affected people, which will lead to better acceptance. Therefore, everything our volunteers are doing right now will move us in the right direction. It's not just infected people who are stigmatized, though. IFRC workers are often in direct contact with the Ebola patients preparing the corpses. These tasks have in some cases led to attacks on their volunteers by local residents. And Ebola survivors and family members of victims have also said they suffered from the social stigma the disease can leave in its wake. Clementine Logan, CCTV.